Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome to our Thursday night open TTD Series 10 Let's Play. Now, if you want to play along with Series 10, you can do. We've, we've gone quite far into the game. We're quite a few live streams and episodes into this, like 40-something now. But it only takes 13 and a half minutes in real life to do a game year. So, in theory, you could catch up if you wanted to. Head out to uh, masterhellish.net forward slash S10 if you want to take part in this series. Also, all the information about the mods we use in this series is there as well. And, and, uh, here is the timer. So if you're not watching live, or if you are watching live and want to go get yourself a cup of tea, that's when we're going to start the gameplay. Jackamite says, 44 episodes is crazy to me. Has it been that long? It has. We started this series at the very beginning of the year, at the very beginning of 2023. And in theory, we was going to do one live stream and one video every week. So if you work out how many weeks they've been and times it by two, that's how many episodes there should have been. However, uh, my son arrived this year, so I took a break. Of course, I take a couple of the little breaks, and we've had to adjust the schedule here and there. So, we're only up to 44, but we're still cracking on. Uh, you got a new person into Eve. Yes, I saw Brandon. Yes. Um, me and some of the other viewers play Eve online. If you want to do so, you can go to the website, and on the website there's a link that tells you how to take part for free. Or at least give it a go for free. But hello to everybody. Hello, Adam. Hello, Jebulus. Uh, who else is saying hello? Good evening, Elaine. Hello. And if, if, if I scroll up a bit more, we've got Party Piggy, Robert, Tinman as well. Hello, everybody. People at each Exo Kids come in as well. Brilliant. Um, <laughs> it's better than nothing. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, though, right, if you always look at with the outlook of well, it's better than nothing, um, then you, you probably, you might sell yourself short on, on expectations. David, watching on Twitch? Not many Twitch watchers. Not many Twitch watchers, but it is an option. It is an option. I do stream at a higher quality on YouTube, so that is why I think most people are on YouTube these days. Uh, but you can see, you can see down here in the corner, loads of people entering giveaways. And that's because they've realised that the monthly giveaways are live. I did an announcement for that on social media. When did I do the announcement for that? October? Yesterday. Yesterday, so... Uh, the monthly giveaway is the fantastic Transport Fever 2. It is, it like if you if you say oh, I I want a game that's like Open TTD but more modern and I don't mind paying some money. Transport Fever 2, hands down. I don't know of another game that is is um, as good or that close to Open TTD in a modern feeling. You missed last week's. You was away on on Cornwall, on Cornwall, in Cornwall. He was in Cornwall. Um, if you uh, want to take part in the giveaways, uh, you can do so. Just go to portal.masterhellish.net. Log in with your masterhellish.net uh, account. If you don't have one, you can create one for free. And uh, Matthew's uh, here for the first time watching live. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Jack and Mike, if you force yourself to do it every week, that might not be as fun. That's right. And you've got to remember, folks, like... Is my camera a bit wobbly? No, my camera's fine. You gotta remember that. Like, first of all, like, I have a family. You know, I have a wife, two young kids, and I have a full time day job. So this stuff has to come after all of that. Um, but there we go. You're watching on YouTube. <laughs> We have the Twitch chat open on your phone. You know what? That's an interesting way of doing it. Yeah, that's that's one way. Uh I don't know if you can pop YouTube chat. Hi, Dave. Welcome. Um, Elaine says, I'd definitely find up, sign up for Transport Fever 2, but I already have it. Yes, yes. Okay, so that's the first piece of news, is that the monthly giveaways are up. While we're talking about giveaways, we'll get the wheels spinning, shall we, folks, and find out how many giveaways we're going to do today. So is it going to be one giveaway? Is it going to be two giveaways? Could it be three giveaways? Let's find out. Let's spin that wheel and find out. And then we'll get on to the next piece of news. And then we'll play the game. 
I'll have a drink. There we go. Three! There we go, folks. We're going to do three giveaways in today's live stream. Uh, and to make sure we fit them all in, let's crack on. So we've got Detached, and that's the non-VR edition. Uh, there is a giveaway for that starting right now. If you go to portal.fantastic.hellish.net, you can go and uh, you can you can go and uh, take part in that or the monthly giveaways. And JJ has uh, claimed a train whistle for fifty hellish points. So here we go, JJ. I thought that was quite a good one. It was a bit loud. I should probably look at the... I did point it away from the microphone. Um, I'll keep an eye on that in future. But yes, uh, you can give me points out of 10. Square out of 10 if you like that. Um, uh, so yes, there we go. Uh, what was this? Yes, so we've had a train whistle. Um, I'll try not to make the train whistles too loud. I'll move back a little bit if I need to. Uh, but good evening, everybody. Um... Oh, the notification was too loud. Yes, actually, I've just noticed that for some reason my desktop audio is turned up a little bit more than normal. Yeah. Um, it's because we've got no music or anything playing at the minute, or no game sounds, so the desktop audio is just flat. There's nothing there. I'll tell you what we could do. Let me see about something. Right. So the news. The good news, everybody. Oh, you think it was a good 10 out of 10? Thank you. Um, hang on a second. Yes, so we've got some news. We've got some news. See, that's loud, isn't it? You see, you don't want it that loud. Why can't I hear that? I can't hear that. Can you guys hear that? Some technical difficulties today. <laughs> we wanted to gently caress your eardrums. What do you, this isn't ASMR, is it? Um, oh, I know what happened. Right, hang on. All right, let me try again. Wow. Why is that so loud? I think it's just been boosted on the source. There we go. Um... So yes, Transport Fever 2, the music you can hear now is the monthly giveaway. You can head out to the website to take part in that. Uh, head out to the portal. Head out to the portal. So the news, everybody, and I've deliberately left this late because I want the people that have skipped forward to also hear this. You can hardly hear that. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get the game open now. But I have... Open TTD event news, everybody. Okay, so Open TTD is going to be the feature game in my festive charity live stream, and a date has been set. Now, I don't like to talk about the festive season too early because, from a commercial standpoint, I feel like it gets earlier every year. The shops are just there to grab. Uh, and grab and grab. I mean, they're there to make money. That's the point. They're a business. But I can see so you can kind of understand it from that point. But come on. It's nearly half the year now. But anyway, I want to get a date in the diary so that everybody can sort things out. Make sure that they're available if they want to be. We're going to be having an open TTD game or two in our festive charity live stream on... The 16th of December. There you go, folks. No, not the 16th of December, okay? 
that is when we're going to be having it, all right? I've already told the viewer plus subscribers, and now I'm telling all of you that have come to join today. Uh, the Master Hellish Festive Charity Livestream 2023 featuring Open TTD will be on Saturday, the 16th of December. <laughs> you know Christmas is coming when Hellish announces a festive stream. Yeah. I mean, I was trying to arrange some other things in my calendar around that time of year. And I was just like, oh, I should probably nail this date down because, like, having, like, kids and family and stuff, you need to arrange these things a little bit. Anyway, open TTD. Here we go. Right then. So last time we concentrated on Hellish City and it did some growing. Now, it grew, it hasn't grown for two months. It's stalled. But it looks like we've yeah we're just under the 50 percent mark in terms of growth it would be nice if we could get it to grow a little bit more than that you know what, i'm going to turn my headphones down i feel like i'm shouting over the music there we go um oh also if you want any spoilers about the festive charity live stream and and what it might entail i have a very very devious and devilish idea you might even call it hellish and I, I think we've um, uh, I think I've even teased the idea before in, in previous live streams um, so we'll see we'll see I'll, I'll really reveal more details close to the time but there you go everybody you've got a save the date okay you've got to save the date like a wedding it's not a wedding. Um, but looking at the goals, you can see that a lot of these are doing quite well. Sodium hydroxide's down a little bit, but we've worked on that recently. Um, vehicles is zero. So it's all about vehicles again today. No trains. Uh, 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 we'll see, Jack and Mac. I hope there's going to be trains involved. I hope there's going to be everything involved but we just don't know <laughs> we do need to choose a charity though so um if anybody's got any ideas for charities feel free to shout them out that's usually one of the next things we do after we got a date <laughs> no no vehicles at all jack them out <laughs> ban boats force brandon to use all the things see brandon no, it didn't used to use just uh, just boats anyway right we need to get our vehicle uh, throughput up. So let's start at the top of the chain and have a look. Okay, so at the sim so at the top of the chain over here, we are now supplying all the different parts that this assembly plant requires. Okay, which is good. Uh, loads of vehicles are coming out, and we've got some engineering and farm supplies that we could fly out of here if we wanted to. So we'll have to keep that in mind. Now, one of the things that wasn't going so well recently was the tyre plant. It's this one here. And it's because we were only supplying one thing, and now we've got all four coming in, but you can see it's it's patchy. I don't, I don't think the trains are deliver, delivering the supplies quickly enough, so we need to try and boost things wherever we can do. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I should have specified that the charity needs to be available on the Just Giving website. We can't we can't just choose anyone. It's to do with the integrations and the and the way that we um, and the way that we collect donations. Okay. Um, hang on a second. Let me see if I can find I, I was trying to find the page on the website that would show you the different charities you can fundraise for. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm going to put the link in chat. Upgrade to a faster train. Joe, you are totally right. We do need to look at that. We do need to um, look at upgrading. Anyway, so yes, let's let's look at the things that could be wrong and the upgrades. Joe, you're you're pretty you're pretty right. Use small trains more regular, Tinman says. Um I kind of agree. 
if you're trying to keep a supply going. But in theory, we should have enough supply with the big trains without having to go small. Um, okay, folks, I feel like I should tell you the idea because I have mentioned it before. It's not a secret and I think it will be a good one. We're going to, I'm looking at playing a game of Open TTD, a public game with all of you lot, but pretty much all of the game settings. So, for example, maximum number of trains, maximum length of trains, uh, maximum tunnel distance, all of them set to the minimum possible value. And what we have to do is, as a community, we have to donate to the charity. And when you donate, you purchase or you claim the ability to raise one of the game settings. So, for example, it, there might be an option that says, oh, if you donate uh, uh, 50 pounds, we'll add 50 trains to the max, you know, minimum number of trains allowed per company. Things like that. So we're going to see... I've, we've never done anything like it before. It's a bit devilish to have a game where everybody is so restricted at the beginning. Um, but hopefully through donations we can we can grow it. Infers you need to deliver every three months. Uh, not Yeah, I mean, the, uh, the amount's important, right, Tinman, because we want a lot of it. Ben Anvil, I think, likes the suggestion that I just made. Um, so... Where's the carbon black coming from? Where's the carbon black? It's coming from down here, isn't it? I can't remember now. That's coal tar. And that's... Yeah, coal tar's being produced. Oh, and sulfur. Oh, so it's not that. So where's it coming from? It must be this one. Oh, is that the new one we just put in? Uh, down this line from this station? No, I don't think it is, because the... Um... Is that rubber? That's rubber we're bringing in. Well, that one's fine as well. S sulfur and carbon black? What, the what am I doing? Am I just delivering the wrong things to the wrong places? Hang on a second. Sulfur and carbon black. Okay. Sulfur and carbon black. Yeah, so they're the two that are struggling. So we need to make sure that all the stuff down here is working well. Oh, dear. You like the concept, I think. Um, Joe says, I won't be able to take part, Sally, as I doubt I'll be able to donate to charity, whichever one fun. Oh, Joe, no, it'll be a group effort. It'll be a community effort. So, like... Uh, if somebody donates, then everybody everybody gets it. So, yeah. So don't worry. Yeah, the, the limit, the vehicle limit would get raised for everybody. So it, it'd be donations as a community makes the community game expand. Right. Uh, this coal mine requires engineering supplies. And is current production normal? This one is current production normal. That one's gung ho. So I think we need a more regular load of supplies. Are they all? I think they're all coming from this airport. Let's do. Oh, where's my cargo flow legends? Engineering supplies. Yes, isn't it? There we go. Look at that. Cargo Flow Legends pointing out where things are going. It's not very often we use the Cargo Flow Legend. It's a very underrated tool. So we can see here that we've got uh, three coal mines that we're bringing stuff into. Uh, for, uh, into. And you can see how how often... Well, you can't, you can't see how often. Um, you can see how used the line is. So you've got green, white, and green, which is unused and saturated, which is good. Uh, we've got... Ah, there we are. Look, we're running out of supplies. 
We are running out of supplies. I thought we had loads of engineering supplies, but it's only 36 crates. It's not enough. Okay, we need engineering supplies from somewhere else, and I think we can get them from here as well. We can, but 0% has been transported. Why? Why 0% of the steel's wire rods been... Have I broken a station around here or something? No, the corner of it is still... Let's unpause the game a moment. Why is 0% transported? Oh, because it produced zero. You know why? Because we messed around with this section, didn't we? We messed around with Attila the Hub. It's it, it just in range. Just in range. Build a new airport. Yes, we're going to build a new one. We're going to build a new airport down here. Uh, where there's a take engineering supplies from here sign. Just in case I didn't realise what I was supposed to be doing. Um, let's put it there. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll have a look. You know what? The disruption of building this canal is what the problem is. Because I, I, we switched from roads to boats... And the production at both of these sides have gone down. That's why there's not many engineering supplies. Um, I've got a feeling that once the system gets going again, it won't actually be a problem. I think, I think this sheet and pipe mill will be enough. It's not got any acid being supplied, you see. No acid. <laughs> Finds a way to blame the boats. Yes. Oh, dear. All right, Jebulus, thank you for coming by. Take care. Um, so, yeah. I. You know what? I'm going to leave this because I think we're going to be all right. The disruption's been caused by the boats. Let's see what else might be going awry. So, the other one that we've got is this big long line down here, down to Jebulus's. Oh, I, yeah, there you are, Jebulus, if you're still here. Um, Jebulus's body. Body plant. Um, we're not getting any glass in. Oh, needs glass? We're not bringing glass in at all, are we? Are we? What's this? This is paints and coatings. Fair enough. And there's nothing coming down this line at the minute. But again... Oh, there we go. There's one. That is... Sheet steel. Yeah, we need glass. And again, this one's going to have been affected by the boats because it's coming from the sheet and pipe mill. Oh, right. Okay. What we'll do... Uh, what are we at now? Yeah. Let, we're going to end the giveaway soon for uh, Detached. Um, if you want to take part, head out to portal.masterhalish.net and we'll get the next giveaway coming along quite soon. Um, yeah. Right. We need to work out how to get glass in here. So, if we go to Display Supply Chain, click on Glass, we can see that glass comes out of a body plant and a no, it goes into a body plant, comes out of glass works. A glass works creates glass from sand and soda ash. This sounds familiar. I'm pretty sure we did it over here, didn't we? Uh, hang on. You know what we can do? We can use, again, the cargo flow legend uh, and try and find the glass. Uh, presumably GL. Where, where have, is this it? And that's not it. Where are we doing glass? Where did you got glass going, haven't we? Oh, hang on, we've got it up in Hellish. Uh, we've got it up in Hellish City. I'm sure we have somewhere here. There, there's glass. 
So this is what I was thinking. Well, we've got Glassworks down here. And it's taking it into Hellish City. Yeah, it's, it is Stitch. It's in Hellish City. We need a whole new glass system. We do. Um, based around here. Okay, let's do it. That's what we've got to do to improve things. Let's do it. So, let's go to the world map. We'll hide all the industries. No, wait. We'll go into industry mode and hide all the town names. There we go. Uh, and we'll, uh, we'll... Yeah, we will actually hide all the industries. But then we'll turn on the glassworks. There's the glassworks. And from the industry chains, if we select uh, glass... Um, and glass work. We can see it comes from a quarry and a soda ash mine. So, quarry and a soda ash mine. Oh my goodness, I think I've just seen the closest glass works. Okay, so this is where we are. And remember, folks, you can, if you want, fund industries in this part of the map if you're playing along. But I've decided not to as an extra challenge. Nightmare! Yo, Hellish, how's it going, mate? First time catching your stream? Well, thank you for coming by. It's going very good, thank you. It's been a busy day. Busy Thursdays are busy days for me. I, it's my long shift at work, and I also do the family food shop in my lunch hour. Um, so it's a busy day. Busy days for me. I have a quick drink as well. Hang on. Okay. So... Shakespeare Kid says top led, left has uh, all three close together. That is true. Right, so I'm gonna we're gonna we're gonna have a look at this. We're gonna go into drawing mode because, of course, we all love drawing mode, right? There we go. So, uh, quite luckily, the mouse cursor. Uh, this is where we want to be delivering our glass to. Okay, this little square down here near the mouse cursor. We need to find a glassworks that we can use. There is one over here. There is one over here. There's one right up there. And I... D oh, well, there's some right down here as well. Okay, there's one here. And here. And here. So there's quite a few down there um, out on the side. Um... Yeah, the one over on this side has a lot of things that we could link into it. Like, look at... Um, is it alt? No. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine industries within a relative... Oh, there's another one here, look. There's another one here. Within a relatively close range. Gee, Rich. Hey, happy Thursday indeed. So many, yeah, lots of happy memories with OpenTTD, isn't it? Yeah, well, checks so kid, we don't want to use any of the existing railway network because we want to keep things dedicated. Otherwise, you just get not enough throughput down the lines that we've got. So, we'd have to do a new railway line. And that railway line would have to come probably either through here or across this way and maybe down alongside this one something like that if we wanted to use that one so there's there's advantages and disadvantages uh this one over here has a clear path to build a railway line in but there's no resources anywhere near it not really Transport Tycoon, Age of Empires, go to games back. Yeah, Age of Empires, that was another good one, wasn't it? Age of Empires. I, I'm actually I was actually writing a video about like all the games throughout the history of my life, like all the significant important games. Uh, it's just been a little while to get that project going um, and, and out, but hopefully before the end of the year, it'd be nice to get that done. Soapbook, welcome. Welcome to the stream. You know what? Uh it's I hate it because it, it is probably gonna be really difficult, but this one's probably the best one to do. 
because it's got the best amount of primary industries near it. Let's have a look at the land and see how the land is. So if we re remember, let's just switch over modes. Something's gone wrong. There we go. We switch over modes, uh, it's somewhere here. And this whole area is really flat, which is good for all those industries. It's a matter of getting the line there. Are you a pro in OpenTTD? Depends how you defi define pro. I've been playing it many years and I, I'm, I would say I know how to play quite well. We could, we could come down this coastline here. If we come down that coastline, maybe round in with the glassworks either this way or that way. It's going to be messy, but I think it's the best thing to do. It's going to make our network look pretty cool though. Okay, back to game. Glassworks, where is it? There it is. Look at that. Nice big open area. Right, what should we do first? I think we should do the line to take the glass out first. Yeah, definitely do that first. Okay. Uh, right. The height map could be important. Yeah, the land, the land, the land, the land can get flattened, Adam, but not necessarily. Especially if we, if we were working in the preservation lands, we wouldn't be flattening the land, would we? Right. So this is a high. Let's yeah, use a good station. We'll do drag and drop. Now, where's the line going? I mean, we want the railway line to go kind of along this coast here. Um, so if we we start building the line like this, just to give us an idea of where the line's going to. Oh, chat's going to want me to build bridges there, aren't you? Ugh, I'm going to do it just because I know you guys would want it. That's the only reason there's bridges there. For you. You. Oh, that's Cam 2. You. For you. I forget about Cam 2 sometimes. It's just over there. I mean, we've got Cam 3, but it's not really relevant right now. Okay, so that is where the line's going. We've got to try and get that line up here to the glassworks somehow. You're thinking tunnels, Chegs are kid. Mm, babe. You, 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 it's chat thinking tunnels. Bulldoze the waters, so it's like, Dip, get rid of the water. Sorry. Preservation lands. We've done a bit of preservation lands already in this series. Yeah, we've got, we've got some more coming up. Oh, everybody wants tunnels. You would do, wouldn't you? If I'd have put tunnels, you'd have wanted bridges. You're like my daughter. If Daddy's taking her to school, she wants Mummy. If Mummy's taking her to school, she wants Daddy. There you go, look. Are you happy now, chat? Tunnels. Okay. Um, right, so we need to avoid... Right, draw mode. So, we're going to have a station somewhere over here. And our track needs to go out the corner that way. There is a lot of infrastructure around here, but it's higher up. Maybe we go down. What if we lower the track so that we're beneath this stuff here and here and here? We could do tunnels there and there, put a diagonal in and another diagonal. Ideally, now see, this diagonal here would be too short, really. Ideally, you'd want that diagonal to be 12 or more. But you could go straight here for a way, diagonal, and then straight under there again. And a diagonal and up into a station. I've seen how you drive, Daddy. Come on, mommy, please bring me to school. <laughs> hey. 
hate from Australia. Go, we've got loads of people coming from different parts of the world. I mean, somebody said it now, so everybody's gonna. Say everybody's gonna do it. Safe. What? Go. Um. Under Hartberg West tracks before they drop. Save dropping the land. I kind of like the idea of digging a trench though. Checks so kid. Right. We're gonna do a country check. Everybody who's watching. Where are you from? Shout out in chat now, please. Can we reasonably be go behind Hartbird Woods? Uh, what, in this gap? Potentially. But if you go, if you go behind there, like... If you were to sneak down here, you'd then have to go across from that hill, which you could do. That would that would be okay. You wanted to do it like that? I'm down with that. Let's do it. Let's do it. That's that's that's. If that's what you meant, I mean, even if it's not what you meant, we're doing it. There you go. So ideally, this uh, diagonal on the inside needs to be a total of 12 long. There you go, look. We, we can get a 12 long diagonal in there. Actually just sneaks past the town as well. And that's what you meant? There you go. Pop a few tunnels in. Tunnels are generally better than bridges in most scenarios because tunnels don't slow you down. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Let me rephrase that. Bridges have speed restrictions and you need to upgrade them as you go through the game. Tunnels don't, but your rate of acceleration if you're not already going at full speed is reduced in tunnels so bear that in mind when using it in sections of track where you may still be accelerating up to full speed there we go i think i said that properly okay here we go um the uk netherlands england south africa england uh a frozen, a frozen hillscape in Michigan. Uh, Poland, South Wales. Um, Isle of Wight, which is UK, uh, UK Germany, Netherlands. Um, below the coal mine. Yep. Place the line a little more to the north. I think we'll be alright there. I think it's going to be good. That's okay. Uh, Portugal, Canaries. Um... Courtly is Brandon who had completely the butch butcher the company's name. Space Podcast says Master Game. Uh, here's my proof. Uh, it's been so long chatting to you guys. I remember when you blew up your KSP moon base. Uh, I think that was a while ago, wasn't it? Was that Series Two KSP? Wow, that is some. Well, that's one of the clips that we've got. I'll have to play the clips in a bit because. I need to stretch my legs and uh, and get a drink, so we'll we'll have a break. Thought you hate diagonals? Nope, don't hate diagonals. You just need to make sure your diagonals are longer than your train length. Then you're okay. There's all uh, there's also nothing wrong with a little kink. Um, Warwickshire in the UK. Yeah. You missed the start. Above the line. Months and months back, if not a year. There is a clip on Twitch of that happening. Oh, hang on. When I blew up my KSP moon base. Oh, hang on. Right. So you're talking about my Series 4 moon base when I tried to move it and it blew up. Okay, what I thought you were talking about was my, I think it was Series 2 or 3 Moonbase, 
that I attempted to land with Kerbals inside. It's the one time that I've killed so many Kerbals all at the same time. It was, yes, it's a long time. Uh, Elaine says, I wonder if you can count if you're I wonder if you continue counting your KSP series or start counting new with KSP2. Normally what I do is I start the series again, the counting again. So I've done it for Transport Fever 2. So you've got Transport Fever 1, Series 1, Transport Fever 1, Series 2. Then you've got Transport Fever 2, Series 1. And now we're on Transport Fever 2, Series 2. So that's the way I've done it in the past. So I'll probably stick to doing it that way now. Okay, so we've got most of the complicated stuff done. You know what, folks? That's nowhere near as bad as what I thought. It's not as efficient as just cutting straight through it, but here we go. Right then, so can we get a station on the end of this line that will also be in the catchment? No, of course we can't. Um, so we'll have a little wiggle. What do you mean? Oh, I nearly built it in the wrong direction again. Nearly made a mistake. Okay, uh, moderators, the mistake counter for this live stream or whatever it is named. You know, I'm going to go and have a look. Oh, I forgot to end the giveaway. Okay, the winner of the giveaway is... Fantastic. <laughs> Here war go the... Go the... Uh, go, uh, I'm not quite sure. You've won. Congratulations. Uh, we're going to start a new giveaway for the Amazing American Circus. Remember, we're doing three live giveaways this live stream. We also have our two monthly giveaways. Transport Fever 2 is our monthly giveaway. And because we're celebrating my 10th year um, of creating content, we've got a £10 Steam voucher to give away as well. Okay. Um, what was we talking about? Oh, the counters. What was it? Hellish Messed Up. It's just called Hellish Messed Up. It should be Hellish Messed Up this uh, this stream or something like that. But, uh, okay, never mind. Let's, uh, let's crack on. So does that connect? It does connect. Okay, that's fine. That's good. Everything is awesome. And then we want our depots to be at least 16 squares from the station. We don't actually know the magic number. Oh, we could do with a double depot without... What if... I did that. There we go. Double depot. Train doesn't have to come up and down. Uh, yeah, we don't know the exact number that a train needs to be away from the station in order for it to not path through the station to try and get there. There you are. Put a little kink in the track. There's nothing wrong with a little kink. I don't know if we still have a t-shirt with that on in the hellish store. <laughs> but we do have the Trees, Trees, Trees t-shirt, if anybody wants to have a look. You know? Uh, I just did the Season 10 pop-up. So if anybody would like to play along, you can do. All the information about this game that we're playing right now, including the mods we're using, is on that address on the screen and in the chat. And if you want to have a look at my store, you go to store.masterhellish.net. There we go. Do I still play KSP? So Series 4, if I remember correctly, has ended. Okay. Um, we, I'm planning on doing a KSP 2 series at some point. It's, it's on the list. Error-o-meter. Can we have, like, like, stream in it or this time or something? Because I don't want to be, like, a counter for eternity. It would just keep going up and up and up and up and up and up. Uh, right, so we've got a double depot going in. We've got a double depot coming out. We've got the station going round. Uh, fantastic. We need to do the station on the other side, which is going to be a bit more difficult. Um, 
think we're going to have to have a little kink here. And then somehow we're going to have to get it connected up to this station. Hmm. Well, what we could do is we could extend and move Huffingly Woods. New viewer plus subscriber. Fantastic. Thank you very much, ALM, for being a resubscriber. 37 months now. Nice one. I haven't actually looked at the... Uh, the... Um, the... the, the charts for a while I said where is it uh, point store oh no it's on the portal I haven't been to the portal in a while because I'm an admin I go to the admin thing so if I go to portal.masterhellish.net charts uh, viewer plus subscribers Nudger is currently top of the charts or joint top with Fox Dren Gwabe uh, and Nudger there and then Wizard Brandon only one month behind. Oh wow! Let's let's show this on stream quickly. Nope, wrong button. There we go. Look at the charts here. We're going to zoom in. All time top view, uh, top fifty viewer plus subscribers. There we go. Look at all these. DJ Egg near the top there. Jack Mac, your lifetime. So is six. We did a lifetime is not a thing anymore. There were, there's only been three occurrence of it ever. Um, Game of Clarks on there. Um, we got some icy bear, and uh, we also got current hellish point charts. Chexo kids on twelve thousand. That is crazy. That's a lot of hellish points. What are you saving those hellish points up there? Eh? That's a lot of whistle blows. That's a lot of whistle blows. Uh, right. Yes, I've got a brilliant idea for this station. Uh, my brilliant idea involves blowing half of it up and and reworking a lot of it. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to have one track come in one way and one track come in the other and it's going to be fine. Uh, I don't know if I can get this round here, actually. This is going to be difficult. Yeah. Um, I suppose that is the furthest I can, like, the closest I can make it. No, that's the closest I can make it. Ooh, this industry is in the way. Because we're not allowing 90 degree turns. I can make this work. I can make this work. So I have an extra platform here. Oh, the local authority hate me. The local authority think I'm appalling. Okay, where are these trees? Let's get some trees in here. Trees, trees, trees. I'm not wearing my trees. Actually, I need a new trees, trees, trees t-shirt. They are. Look, they think we're good. Okay, let's get that other platform in. So what I'm doing is I'm going to move one section of it further along. And then this one... We're going to have the exit in the other direction for the other three platforms. So we got in one way and out the other. We need to fix this though. So I guess that could just go straight. These two can come in. And then there we go. So let's rebuild that section. That's fine. Let's get our double depots in. And we'll remove the forbidden bit of track. You know the owner of Acme Whistle Shooter? I don't actually know where this whistle's from. It just says train whistle. 
I have no idea of the brand at all. <laughs> Blowing <laughs> all kinds of whistles, <laughs> annoying people. Oh, yeah. It's a good load of whistles, isn't it? Oh, okay, Shizzle. Hey, welcome. Going good, thank you. About three donations are in there. Yeah, well, I see. Checks out, kid. That's one way to get some hellish points, isn't it? So we're going to do a little... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. There you are. There's one for the mistake meter or whatever you want to call it. The mistake-o-meter. It should be the oopsie counter. <laughs> oopsie. Okay. And there's our in. So we've got an in one way. Hellish messed up one. Thank you. I, the thing is, I have no idea which moderator did that. Because I haven't implemented any sort of logging yet. Maybe I should. Have I got that on the to-do list? Uh, I, I don't seem to have my list here. Oh, well, never mind. So, now we've extended the number of platforms at Huffingley Woods. We can use three for what was there in the first place. And the new three can get connect up to what we want. Look at that. Fits in just. And you know what? Three's okay for dropping off goods, especially at the rate that we're looking at. Um, you guys will want a tunnel under the river, won't you? This is where I build a tunnel, and you're all like, no, I want a bridge now. I can never win. I'm not doing it through the, for the small rivers. I just realised we've still got the Transport Fever 2 music going. I just love it so much, it's fantastic. There we go. Has anybody else noticed that I accidentally left, left the Transport Fever 2 music on? I mean, I know we've done it in previous... Look at that. Look how well that lines up. I think we've done it. So we've got a platform at Jebulus's body, um, in the Jebulus's body zone for Huffingley Woods. It is nice in the background. Blow it up! One tunnel, one bridge. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm doing it. One of them's a tunnel, one of them's a bridge now. One tunnel, one bridge, keep moving. One tunnel, one bridge, keep moving. One tunnel, one bridge, keep moving. You know what? Actually, that's not quite as daft as um, as what you may think. Was that an accident? It's more of a misclick. I'm not going to count that. That's not a, like a mistake. That's just the mouse being slightly off. Um, there is a bridge and a tunnel that goes over and under the river at London on the M25 on the uh, east of London. Um, I've been uh, under the bridge and over that... Uh, under the bridge. On the bridge and under the tunnel quite a few times, actually. I've, I've travelled on, uh, on that road a lot. Not a lot, a lot, but a bit a lot. Anyway, that line's done. So this glass works better not close down now. <laughs> After all that work. Right, uh, this potash mine, uh, we, what do we need? Sand and soda ash. There's sand, there's soda ash. There's some soda ash. The scrapyard. Builder's Yard. Should we get these two plumbed in first? Because I think we could probably do it with one station. Should we do it with the... Because it's not going a very long distance. Let's do it with a, a shorter length of trains. So, uh, let's do six tracks, length six. 
Oh, look at that. We can get both in. If It's just this river. Oh, by, oh um, what river? There wasn't a river. Who ever said anything about a river? No river. Um... I'm just thinking because we're picking up two different resources, we should probably split this. Pop a couple of waypoints on. It's a good idea to do it like that. It doesn't matter, they can they can both just like both cycle out here. As long as we put signals on the end of the platforms the correct way round. I don't count that as a mistake. If we count all these little bits as mistakes, we'll we'll never get anywhere. We'll just have a mistake counted, like, constantly flashing on the screen. It's a bit wonky. You know what? I'm going to do it like this, just so it's even. That's not a mistake. That's just me changing my mind. Like, constantly having to... The Dartford Crossing. Yes. No, so the Dartford Crossing is a tunnel and a bridge. Um, and uh, it used to be tunnel only. There was actually two tunnels, uh, presumably one for each direction, but now both the tunnels are northbound and the bridge is southbound. Howdy. Well, howdy. I haven't heard howdy in a while. That's that's cool. I like that. Howdy. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a train length in here and then somehow go across here. I mean, ideally, we want a big diagonal after a train length, but you can't do diagonals across diagonal. This train, this track isn't used very often. Hmm. Would it be absolutely terrible if I just built it straight across it? Remember the forbidden tracks at the depots. Yes, the forbidden tracks. Let's remove them. There we go. Thank you. Thank you for the reminder there. Let's get the waypoints in for the two different resources. Bop, bop. And we'll sort them out soon. Let's go do the drop-off station. So the drop-off station is going to be length six, number of tracks four. We'll make it in this orientation somewhere about here. There we go. Oh, are we doing a giveaway? We are doing a giveaway. Just okay. We'll end the giveaway soon. Remember, the giveaway is for the amazing, the amazing American Circus. So, if you want to be within a chance of winning that game, go to portal.mesterhalish.net, and you can enter there and potentially win. I'm not saying you will win, but people do win. In fact, sometimes people people win multiple things. We did uh, the monthly giveaways not long ago. Rocket won two of the seven giveaways we were doing. I don't like this. I don't know what to do. I don't like diagonals here. Dedicated Britain. Oh, it's going to be a sharp corner, isn't it? I don't think there's going to be any two ways about it. Look at that. I don't like that. A bridge will give you a longer diagonal than a tunnel. That is true, I think. It will. <laughs> Checks her kids like, ignore me. Hmm. 
You could also sink the diagonal to the level of the tunnel and then go up. Yeah, I could sink the diagonal. It's all just so close. Like, I should have used vehicles. Or boats. Yeah, I said it. I should have used boats. Um... Right. Okay, folks. I'm going to take that break that I, says I, was, I said I was going to take. Um, and I will be uh, back soon. Stretch my legs. Refresh my drink. And we will have a look at this. So, oh, Wolvian, finally managed to catch a live stream. Enjoy your videos. Uh, Tune in a nice time. Well... Uh, thank you for coming along. We're going to be taking a five minute break while I stretch my legs and get a drink. But right after those five minutes, we'll be back to fix this railway line in some way or another. Okay, so uh, we'll see you all in five minutes. Feel free to do the same, stretch your legs, get a cup of tea or something. and uh, Or enjoy the clips. I will be back in five. Ooh. Oh, he moved out of the way of it. So that's the problem. If he, if I'm firing these ones, I've, I've got to be certain that my hits will hit. Oh, that was a big hit. What happened? Apart from me going orbital. What? Have <laughs> have giants ever launched you guys 300 feet into the air? Um, I think we just had the answer to that. And we're not going that way. I am pretty... Oh, no. Oh, no. What have I done, folks? He's going to be the first to say it. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe I've done it. Yeah, backwards. It's all backwards. Luckily, though, it, it won't be too bad to redo. So let's put uh, some signals in to get the signals down there going that way. Signals going down there going that. Ah, uh, no, no, no. They're all on the wrong side. Oh, no, they're not. It appears that this entire part of the network is backwards. Oh, we'll, have to we'll just have to live with that. I'm not changing it. <laughs> I'm not changing it. It's staying like it. Slowing down now. Looks like we're slowing down about right. Two meters per second we're coming down at. And we have landed? Are we going to fall over? We're going to fall over. Are we counting that as a landing? Max power! <laughs> and then, in theory, we should be heading almost straight back to where we need to be. Yes, we are. Right, how close can we get this? Here we go, here we go, here we go. And now! Wow, that building is pretty tough. Oh my goodness, there's a problem. Oh no, all the water sloshed back. Um, oh, this road vehicle's gone. There's the first ver first person cam of this road vehicle. It's underwater. Oh, the helicopter's coming as well. What's that helicopter going to try and do? Is it just taking off because the whole... Fire department, oh my goodness, all the vehicles are getting flooded onto the roundabout as well. 
I, I thought we'd had enough of this. I think it'll be fine though, right? It's going to be okay. Oh my goodness, it's rolling through the city. I thought it would just wash away. Oh, it's heading towards this area as well. I mean, it's only a little bit of localised flooding, right? I mean, look, the train's fine. Allows them to go back out on the alternate line. Similar thing here. Get that signal back in there. There we go, because the, the trains need to return. Red Wolfers! Hey! <laughs> it's good to finally catch a live stream. Yes! A bit late. You're actually quite late. We, we've only got about... Five, four, three, two, one. Oh! oh. oh. Hey, we can't survive. <laughs> wow! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing survived! Look at it! The entire Look at that! Is gone. Look at that! Oh, that's a oh. screenshot right there. <laughs> you going now? Yes. You know, where are you going? Yes. Okay, folks, I am back and we're going to end that giveaway, the live giveaway for the Amazing American Circus. And the winner is Chexo Kid. Congratulations, Chexo Kid. You've won that giveaway and the prize will be emailed directly to you. And next, we're going to start our final giveaway, our final live giveaway of the stream for Soulbright. I think it is Soulbright. Well, yeah, check it out. Portal.masterhellish.net. Um, go in there. Walden says, I do enjoy City Skylines play this. Reminds me of when I used to play SimCity years ago. Yeah, it's like SimCity, but better, in my opinion. Yeah, I did a, I did a good amount of SimCity back in the day. Yeah, it was good stuff. The original, though. No, wait. Might have been 2000 I played the most of. Hmm. Not 100% sure, I can't remember. Um, I am getting old now. <laughs> I've I've been doing this content creation for ten years, which means that I was I was nearly thirty when I started. And now I'm not nearly thirty. <sighs> A lot's changed, folks. Wow. Well I mean we're starting to climb towards twenty thousand YouTube subscribe uh for uh, yeah, subscribers. We've got uh, the fantastic viewer plus subscribers. Uh, it's October now, so that, that offer's gone. Oh, it's, there we are. That offer's gone. Um, but thank you very much to all the Viewer Plus subscribers, all, all 65 of you who support me. Yeah. With all the benefits that you get, all the extra perks. Yeah. Man, you're like a few years older than me. I, yeah. There's a wide variety of ages uh, in my community. There's a a lot of young uns, a lot of old ones, and all the people in in between. Uh, yeah, I remember trying to play games on DOS. Yeah, I I remember playing games um, before before PC. Yeah, I I had a I had a uh, ZX. Oh, here we go. Well, here we go. It's tangent time. So I won't keep it to very long, but I did have a ZX Spectrum, um, and I I recently acquired uh, another one. Like uh, I've got one of the originals uh, in my uh, tech archive. I've also got uh, a Sega Mega Drive 2 in my tech ar archive, and I've also got a Sony PSP. Yes, the original one with the tape deck. We loaded games with tapes. Shall I see if I can show you with Cam 3? Shall we see if we can get Cam 3 actually working? Okay, let's let's see if we can go to Cam 3. Okay. Okay.
Cam, I think Cam 3 is broken. <laughs> Let's have a look. Uh, oh, actually, it's 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 only not working because the IP address has changed. I need to give this a, a static IP. I tried. Um, I can't get my hand in there, but there's, there are tapes down there. Um, and the reason why I can't get down there is because all the Mega Drive cartridges are on top and it's all wedged up there. And I can't get it down right now. So you'll have to wait until I do the dedicated video on my second channel, the Variety channel. The mic on Cam 3 is not good. It's a native mic. I do have an improved mic um, for Cam 3 V2 as well as the battery deck and other things. But um, yeah, it's not so good, but we're gonna switch back now, folks, okay? So this is Cam 3, hello, if you haven't used it before, uh, heard it before, and uh, Cam 3 will be getting upgraded. So right, I'm gonna switch back now, so the audio is gonna go back to what it was, so if you changed your headphones or anything, um, so you can hear me, uh, it's gonna change now. Okay, we're back on back on the normal mic. Um, but there we go. Your first PC was a uh, two six eight with four bit color, a three hundred meg hard drive. Wow, Cam three is not great. It's not it's not great. But there's improvements planned. There's improvements planned. Speaking of improvements, I've worked out something we can do here. So what we're going to do is we're going to forget about these depots. Okay. I'm going to get rid of all of this. And we're going to move this diagonal to here. Or, or close to there, anyway. To just try and bring the tunnel in. And then we're not going to use... Well, we could go down... Yeah, and then we're not going to use a tunnel. We're going to use a bridge. So we can get even closer over. And then that is good. Don't put a signal on there. That's a mistake. There we go. We're using the natural diagonal of the uh, of the thing. What's that called? Station. Um, and then we probably could probably use this natural diagonal here. Bridge across there. But then. I mean that that could work. We could still do that diagonal. Let's get rid of that. So to here and then to there. And then we just sneak in a waypoint here and here. And there we go. Much better. Yeah, so I went ZX Spectrum. Sega Mega Drive 2, PC, PlayStation 3, 
whilst having a PC, and then the PlayStation, uh, and I got a PSP after I got the PlayStation 3, and then that was it for consoles for me. I was just carrying on on the PC. First PC I had had a 133 megahertz processor, and it had a three gig hard drive. Yes, a massive three gigs. You know what? I, I think this will do. This will work. Uh, we need to do some sand, so we're going to change this to um, hood sand. And what's the other one we're shifting? Is it ash? Is it sand and ash? Yes. Ash. There we go. Now the reason why we use the waypoints is, for example, if we had four or five trains all doing sand, and for some reason they were all loading at the station, there would be next to no room for the ash trains to come in. And once you've got a lot of one type of train loading, you're dealing with it a lot and it fills up a lot. So there we go. <laughs> Greetings from Amsterdam. Hello, welcome. Yeah, I, I haven't played on many consoles. I would love to have this PlayStation 3 in here as part of this setup. But, number one, we use it as a Blu-ray player in the living room because it's the only blow. No, it's not the only Blu-ray player. There's technically one in my PC. Um, but I would have to find somewhere to, to fit it in here and we'd have to buy a Blu-ray player uh, for the living room. We didn't check the trains. Let's see if we want to replace the trains. Replace vehicles. Here we go. So we're going to ignore our steam train. We're going to ignore these. Uh, well, I can't remember why they're there, but they are there. It's these 537 Floss Diesels we're going to check out. We're going to compare it with the most reliable of trains. The SH40's is reliability is 75%. The SH30 is 80%. And the Floss Diesel is 99% reliable. And it's the same speed as the SH30. I don't want to use the double-headed trains because it messes things up if you want to advance away from them later on. Please, please open TTD developers. We have... A option for wagon removal please can we have an option for wagon addition as well and then you can just select like duplicate last car or duplicate first car or whatever luggy welcome to the stream we have a giveaway going on for uh, sub uh, sub lights I think it is called there's a few people that's entered the giveaway so we're not using either of those ones so I think we're actually using the most yeah we're using the best we could get the faster train but at 75% reliability they'd just be breaking down so much potentially we'd actually lose out so we're not gonna do that for now let's clone one of these trains and then get rid of the wagons and then we'll go new vehicles and we are doing ash oh hang on which which depot am I in that one so it's an ash train so we want to go anything that can carry that might soda ash, not ash. But I'm calling it ash for short. Coal truck. So by using this um, cargo types drop down, when you buy it, it'll refit at the same time. So we can make our train exactly as long as we want. We can tell it to go to the station. Hang on a minute, what's going on here? Oh clone the orders by accident. Let's get rid of that. Right. Go to the station. Go to this station. Back through Ash. Done. Simple as that. Then we'll get one for the sand. We'll clone this one without holding control. Get rid of the trucks. New vehicles. Change it to sand. Change it to sand. Change it to sand. There we go. Get a coal truck. Buy and refit. Get rid of the extra spare one we put at the end. Double check, you see, look, tons of sand. Nice. 
and we'll give it some similar orders. So we will say all the same except come back and go through sand. There we go. You can probably do auto refitting for those wagons. Maybe you ruled out that for this map earlier on the stream. Refitting for the wagons? Hmm, not sure. You might want to start building electric rail when building new, but run the floss. Save some up, save some upgrade money for the track. I mean, I don't know how much it would cost to upgrade the entire network, but we're not playing with maintenance turned on, so it doesn't matter uh, which one we use. You know what? Over such a short distance, I really don't think we're going to need four trains. But there we go, four trains anyway. How much would it take? How much would it cost to upgrade the entire network? Let's find out. Let's get an extra viewport. And let's get another one just for just for funsies. Two viewports. There we go. One over there. And one over there. One of the viewports we go to the top of the world. And one of the viewports we go to the bottom of the world. And then we get the tool, railway construction, electrified railway, uh, convert, click at the top of the map, drag to the bottom of the map, hold shift so we get the price. Yeah, 8.2 million. 8.2 million when we've got 1.7 billion, not a problem. Not a problem. Okay, so our glassworks will now start making something when we unpause the game, which we're not going to do just yet. I think what we should do is get all of these um, collected up and connected, then start. So let's just have a quick look at the world map. Go back to industries. It's already got our same collection on. So uh, if we just go into drawing mode for a second. So you can see down here where we've got our glassworks and our local industries connected already. And then we've got uh, we've got one over here, 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 and here to connect up. Um, maybe these ones could be all linked together. So maybe like a, a station here that with a track that comes down and then some like a hub station and then something that connects into that hub station let's go take a look at that what's the land like around there it's again very flat okay so this could be done with uh, little trains road vehicles or dare I say it boats and I will let you guys vote on that now we'll end the giveaway soon I think uh, how many giveaways this will be oh no we'll keep this giveaway going for a little bit longer because it's the third and final giveaway for for this live stream uh, but we're gonna do a vote we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do which one we're we gonna do train boat or ship it is called or truck so if you want to vote, go to portal.masterhellish.net and the vote will be on the page for you. If you're already on the page, just refresh it and the vote will pop up. The page doesn't automatically refresh. Trams, we're not doing trams. Trams, I think it's, I don't think you can even transport people tramwards. What is, what is on trams? There we go. Uh, passenger, mail, um, you can get one for engineering supplies and farm supplies so that's an option by tram uh, but not what we're doing so get rid of that so the vote is up and going um, feel like I'm forgetting something you know what we've got a few more people around than um, than were around at the very beginning of the stream so I just want to reiterate a piece of news that I posted out 
we have confirmed a date for the festive charity live stream. So we're going to be playing uh, mostly open TTD and it's going to be on Saturday the 16th of December. We're going to have a big festive charity open TTD game. So please do come along uh, and get involved with that. Uh, it's going to be great fun. It always is. It always is. Okay, I, um, I think that's given people enough time to vote. So we're going to end the vote and the winner is... Fantastic! Should have let the wheel decide. I should have asked the wheel. Why do I ask the chat? Things don't go wrong, they just get interesting. That's right, Chexo Kid. It just gets interesting, doesn't it, eh? Oh. Well, you know, we're not going to have time to finish all of this tonight, probably. Okay, we need some. Oh, can I even get water from anywhere? I'm going to have to dig a massive channel. <laughs> Brandon forgot, forgot to vote and still won. Okay, this uh, hub over here is going to have a train station at the heart of the hub. Just need to double check. It's this ash mine. Not that ore mine. What's that? It's not a limestone mine. That quarry. Yeah, yeah, those two. Okay, soda ash, pot ash. No, it's only soda ash. So it's those two soda ash, that quarry. Where's the fourth thing? I'm sure there was four of them. Oh, there's a quarry there. There we go. <laughs> Never ask Chad if you don't intend for things to go horribly wrong. I've got to get a boat under or over that railway now. Fantastic. Thanks very much, train whistle. Why are we done with train whistle for boats? We don't have boats above the line. Here we go. Here we go. Train whistle for above the line. Oh, I got to give him 10 out of 10 for the last one. Right. Let's somehow do this. I'm going to get water from over here. I'm going to build a trench and then put it back afterwards. I'm at least 98.3% sure I'm not an open TTD dev. That's a that's a good percentage of sureness, if ever I was sure about anything, eh? Um, we're going to have to go... We can't have boat tunnels, can we? No, but the tracks can just... <laughs> this is how, like, uh, how much I need extra sleep. I can just put bridges across... Oh, no, not that. <laughs> Oh dear, that's not what I meant. We got we got a war. <laughs> oh god, no! Whole stream become foghorns. Yeah, there's a second man. Yep, yeah, nine nine point seven five. It's a stitch. That's not bad. That's not a bad one actually. Okay, let's get rid of that. Just have a standard concrete rail bridge. Look, I've managed it. Uh, so is that one of them? That's the soda ash mine there. Boats can go diagonal really easy. So let's go to like here. This is a splash zone for the trains. Really? There we go. Right, so that's for the that one then we can go diagonal up here oh my goodness you lot on your boats what is it about boats okay that looks okay and then that's going close enough to this soda rush mine but I think let's indent it Go. 
water drains. Train train go on water. Water go good, yes? Where, where is it? Where's the other one? Oh, it's over here. Oh, it's down there. Right, okay, hang on a second. Maybe the train line should be on this side. No. It's fine. Why? Why do I let you guys do this to me? Oh well, never mind. It's good for the laughs, isn't it? It's like, we're here for the lols. There we go. And then we need the train station, like somewhere here. So let's put the train station in. Uh, I'm going to do the same as before. We're going to do like this. Um, I'm going to do it like this this time. Slightly different. Because then I can put my waypoints. Yeah. I don't want waypoints there. I want depots there. Oh, hang on a minute. Do we want depots where there's waypoints because trains will route to the depot and not to the waypoint? They will. We can't have... Where, where are the other ones? We can't have these depots. Everyone is saying about whose boat and why boat, but not how boat. <laughs> Above the line. Oh, so many boats. So many boats. Oh, no, there's still trains in there. Okay, it's fine. I'll leave it like that. We're going to have to have diagonal depots over here. Only way to deal with this. I, I mean, I hate diagonal depots. There's, there's not many things I do hate. Diagonal depots. There we go. That'll do it, I think. Put the waypoint before the depot. It doesn't work like that, Saber Psycho. Because if they're going towards a waypoint and they haven't branched off yet, and then they decide to, that they need to service, they'll just go to the depot. Um, it, it, it would work if the depot was like more than about 15 squares away from the branch. So you could make it work, but here it wouldn't. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna bother trying to make it work. Let's try doing it like this. Okay, I kind of like doing it like that. Just measuring. So the depot is going over here so that it's far enough away from the train station and the waypoints. We, we are having waypoints here. Think they'll ignore it if they already want a depot. Yeah. Or do force vet depots. You know what? I didn't think of that. You'd still, I think we'd still need to do it in some sort of clever way. We would. You know what? This is not doing too bad. Let's uh, unpause. See how things go. We're going to have to go around Hoodworth somehow. Uh, maybe if we get the station in here next to Hoodworth Woods. <laughs> Hoodworth Woods. Uh, 
Uh, there? That'll do. Remove that. We can put a kink in the track. And of course, we can put um, a double depots here without any fear of any negative ramifications or anything. Signals on the end of the platform so that each platform becomes its own signal block. Can we get past the town? Two bits of road we need to get rid of. Nice, there we go. It would be nice to get Hellish City to the point where it's grown half the amount of time that it's existed. I know that's quite a difficult challenge to try and achieve, but hmm. that just seemed to not work then. Did I just not hold my control key properly? I, th I think that's the case. There we go. Does the station cover the glassworks? Yes, just. Look, we can look at the coverage. It accepts sand and surdrash. So we're good. Tell you what we haven't done yet, though. We haven't got any trains picking up glass. So, new vehicle. Actually, let's clone our existing glass trains, because I'm, I'm feeling that lazy right now. Uh, they are here. Strangely length 10. There we go. Poof. Right, back to length 12. And get rid of all the orders and full load here. And they're going to go down there, down there, under here, round here, down there, over that, under that, through here, and to here. There we go. And we clone, clone that so there's a few of them ready for taking all the glass that's going to be coming along. This glass works, doesn't need engineering supplies, it just needs sand and soda ash. And the trains are already there, look, parked up, ready ready to load. In fact, some of them are already loading. It's absolutely fantastic. These things here require engineering supplies. Ugh. Where are we going to get the engineering supplies for that from, folks? Well, I will tell you exactly where the engineering supplies for that is going to be coming from next time. Uh, so, there we go, folks. Uh, we're going to end that uh, current giveaway for uh, Soul Blight. And the winner is... Fantastic! Death Angel, congratulations to you on winning that game giveaway. As always, thank you very much to the Viewer Plus subscribers. If you're interested in Viewer Plus, head out to masterhellish.net forward slash Viewer Plus. It's the best way to do things. The, the SH125 Diesel Joe, I don't think it's really going to be appropriate for us. That's, no, because it's a double-headed train, and I don't want to have to deal with going back down away from a double-headed train again. For me, I, 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 I don't. there's too many trains on the network to deal with that. I don't want to have to go back adding that extra carriage away, again when we upgrade in the future. Yeah? Unless you can get a good counter argument, I'm 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 willing to listen. I'm willing to listen. So, what we need is engineering supplies for the uh, these two places down here that we've already done, and we'll also need engineering supplies for these four places, which we've got the train tracks in, uh, but we need to sort the boats out for as well. So we'll sort a lot of that out next time. I will see you soon. I remember, folks, I did say Transport Fever was going to be coming back this month. That is true. I don't know how many live screen streams of that we're going to be able to fit in. But we're almost certainly going to have one on Monday the 16th. Now, this coming Monday, on Monday the 9th, we haven't got a stream. It's a Factorio recording night. So, Viewer Plus subscribers, if you're part of the Factorio group or want to be part of the Factorio group, that is what we're doing Monday night. It will not be streamed. We'll be getting videos ready for the upcoming Sunday night videos. And uh, more Open TTD next Thursday. I'll see you all then.
Thanks very much. It's been fantastic as always, folks. I will see you soon. Bye.